was just a prank, Han. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness... Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Oh, watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Jess? <coughs> Jess! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. OK, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you... Interesting. The last time, the chapter was not called... that. It was not called Isolation. Calling it Isolation's new. Okay, uh... Is anyone there? Hello? Pick up the phone. Spirit, spirit phone. Um, abracadabra. Come on. Um, if you can hear my voice, give us a sign. Yeah, like a peace sign or a Guys, stop sign. If you're not gonna take this seriously. Okay, okay. Is anyone there? Wherever there is. Sorry, I'm just fucking with you because you're crazy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. So now we know that Josh is the one that's very specifically spelling everything out on this Ouija board. I mean, spirit board. Ha ha ha, trademarks. Uh, because he's gonna fake a freak out so he can run off and not be around anyone for a while. Because if he runs away, then he can go and, uh... He can set up all these fucked up traps that he's doing for people. Which allows him to then have that scene where he's like, Oh no, I'm getting sawed in half, which I think is the next time we see him. It's all part of his plan to act like a crazy person here. Who are you? Oh, oh here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Who's sister? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up! Ask it who's sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Yeah, Chris, shut up, you're getting away with my master plan to do horrible saw experiments with everybody. Who are we speaking to? Hannah? Is that you? Oh, God. <laughs> this is messed up. Josh, are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. Except it can't be Hannah. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh? I can handle it. OK. Um. Let me think. The problem is we know it's not Hannah because Hannah's not dead because she's a Wendigo. Unless this unless this choice somehow changes who the Wendigo is, but that'd be weird because that doesn't make sense. Hannah, we miss you and we want to know what happened to you. Can you can you tell us what happened? B? E? T? 
are? Uh-oh. I don't like this. Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it, it's still going. Oh, God. K-I-L-L-E-D. No. Kill. We didn't kill them. It was just a prank. A Ash, calm, calm down, OK? Just we, we, we need to find out more. I'm sorry. I am guys, so guys, sorry. What, what, what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Okay, who killed you? Hannah, who was it? L, I, B? The library, maybe there's something in the library here? E, R, O, O. Proof, there, there's, there's proof. In the library, oh, no. oh. <laughs> Holy shit, Chris. You know what, no, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no. You wanted to use the spirit board. Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need fault. this right now, OK? You guys are full of it. Sh should we go after him? Ah, man, I, I mean, he'll be OK. Let's. Let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. It's all part of his plan. Get those two together, scare them a while until they until they hit it off. Yes? It's clever. <laughs> Jess! Now that you're watching it, knowing what's happening, you're like, Oh, he's pretending to be fucked up so that he can take off, go to his creepy little basement of horrors, and then what he's gonna do... Oh wow, that was a weird angle to jump at. Oh well. Uh, what happens is right there, he freaking... Wow. Yeah, he tells them to go to the library. Yes. I, I, it could be confirmation bias, but go. when I was looking at the... Uh, I was watching his arm during that scene. I think he- I think the way that his arm was moving, you could actually tell that he was pushing it around. But that could be- yes. That could be not me. Buddy. I know, there? that's a jump scare. We've explored that one before. He seemed to- his biceps seemed to be moving before his forearm. I totally promise I won't murder you when I- oh! oh my- oh my No. <laughs> that was so good! Not, no! <laughs> I'm not Let's seeing it. No, no. no. <laughs> you recorded that? <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just no. jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry to scare you. If you send that to anybody, <gasps> you're I'm what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little ladylike scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he looked like directly at the camera for a second there. <laughs> as far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind-melting thrill skills. And then she just transforms into a Wendigo right there. Well, I've definitely picked up that one before. It's in plain sight. Oh, wait. Is there a thing to do over here? Does this go somewhere? Or is that just the path we came in on? It's hard to tell a little bit. Is there anything down here? Can I even keep going? Oh, I can. I don't think this is where we came from. Oh, this is, oh, this is the same fork in the road I saw as Sam, isn't it? I think it just forks and rejoins. Maybe. A long way to go. God damn. Whoa, this path really keeps going. Oh, there's the fork in the road. Is that a way to wander all the way around again? Oh, it's a tree. Well, well, well. Look at this fun little lovebird carving. An M and an E. Any idea what that could stand for? 
Oh, could be any, you know, Elizabeth and, and Myron. <laughs> or maybe Michael and Emily. Relax. I just didn't realize you were so sappy. Pun intended. Hey, I may look like a tough and rugged manly man on the exterior, but deep down, I'm in touch with my feelings. I'm not afraid to show a little affection now and again. Oh, yeah? You gonna show me some affection later? Girl, all kinds of affection. Oh, is that a check I can cash? Wink. <laughs> Let's go, Casanova. Oh, cool. I was worried I was about to loop it or loop around and walk through an area I've already been to, but this is like a whole path I haven't been on before. Weird. I'm surprised this whole area is mapped out then. But yeah, like I'm pretty sure I saw his uh, Josh's bicep moving before his forearm. Oh, here we go. We're back in the same spot. So it's just that little side area. Which is, if his bicep was moving first, that would, that would infer that he was pushing it around. Whereas the other guy's arm, the other two people's arm looks, looks, looks like they were actually being dragged by wow. the piece. It's kind of like a real winter wonderland out here now. Hey girl, you know I'll help you up. Mm -hmm. But since I know his plan, I could easily just be making up evidence at some point. Although he definitely was using the Ouija board as an excuse to send them to the library and then, but have an excuse not to be there with them so that he could uh, use all of his weird tricks to make them think that those ghosts. You get Freaked freaked down. out, Mikey. Uh, what? Do you hear that? No. Hello? Someone there? Deer's running from the Wendigo. Looks like throwing something doesn't have an effect on the story there. It still comes charging out either way. Hey, remember when I ripped his head off? That was pretty sick. That was pretty freaky. This this game hates na this game hates nature. How many animals have died horribly on screen? Charming. It's everything you described, Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. We shot a squirrel with a gun. We killed a we killed a bird with a snowball. Uh, ripped the head clean off. Well, it was already decapitated mostly, but we ripped the head off of an elk or a deer or whatever. Uh, we saw a wolf get eviscerated. As far as I can tell, though, it's a safe world to be a wolverine. They animated a whole Wolverine for that one two seconds it's on camera. It's impressive. What is that? I'm not sure I want to know. Oh, that, that's the deer dying. Oh, we're here already. Right, I forgot this has to happen before we get to the house because she, we don't, she, we, I'm not with her after the house. Damn. It's horrible. I don't think he's going to make it. I would not be around this thing. It just got it. We just saw it and it just got attacked right here by something huge. Hey, bud. Oh hey, buddy. God, the poor thing. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Mike, it's in so much pain. It'll be over soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be over soon. Ah! Ah! God! Run! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I don't know! Oh, there's a friend! Over here, over here, Mike! Get over here! Oh. It's a bear! It's gotta be a bear! Oh, look! Look! Stay on the path, we're almost there! I don't think we can get killed yet, can we? Be interesting to know. No, we still make it, I think. Grab the key. 
Jess. Jess, get up. Hurry! Hurry! Oh my god! That was close. Did it. Are you impressed with me under pressure now? Holy crap, I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? Yeah, you gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay, well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. You get over things fast. Huh. Typical. Urgh. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. My lady. Huh. I thought that would be a different dialogue because I didn't push her in the river this time. <laughs> She was really unhappy with me that time. Alright, so, we need to get a lighter. My phone's gone! Oh no! Shit. Fuck. Mike! What? Oh, crap! What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone! It is gone, okay? Jess, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock! Can you find it? Crap! No! I must have dropped it outside. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. It's gotta be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. Now I'm trying to think of who threw the who threw who throws the phone in here? The Wendigo throws Chris's head at the door when he died last time. So maybe they're weirdly spiteful and throw shit at doors? Or maybe it's the hunter trying to scare us away? In which case, it's weird that he's so close to the Wendigo and there's no fight. Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Pronto! Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Maybe? What's over here? I don't think I've seen this one before. Can I look at it? Do I have to get closer somehow? What's, what is this? Oh, a book. Native American Myths and Legends. Like, maybe a little passage in there about the Wendigo? The mother bear returned. She was enraged. Fire, Shut up! I'm talking. How much longer is it gonna take you? The mother bear returned. She was enraged and attacked the merchant. But he managed to escape her cubs uh, with her cubs' pelts. The mighty eagle saw this, swooped at the merchant as he ran through the trees, but a gunshot frightened the eagle away. The merchant was leaving the forest it's and so with gleeful... It's so cold in here right now! Okay, I'm gonna pause just to shut you up. Jesus. I'm trying to read a thing, lady. I found a new thing I didn't find last time. Oh, and it doesn't show up as a clue? That's frustrating. How are we doing with Jess? I don't see it going down. Be her hero? Mike came to Jess Jessica's aid immediately. Jessica appreciated Mike's heroism. Mike continued to impress Jessica. Yay! Alright. Oh, my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. Wow. You said that. I don't think I'm going to be able to read that anyway. My hand was covering the other page. It also doesn't seem super interesting, actually. Joop. Try again. Ah. This will take care of the mood lighting. Okay. 
This is the heavier rain you are now shaving and brushing your teeth scene of this game. <laughs> Man one, fire zero. Very nice. A bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? I think... Well, I, I wish we had some booze. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm not feeling it yet. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does if that make sense? It's, it's not your fault. Uh, Jess, I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, just give me a chance, and I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it is. Mike really takes a lot of pushing for that stuff, doesn't she? I mean, doesn't he? What if it really fucked with me and is like, last time nothing happened, this time. When go jumps out, rips, Mike, rips Mike's head off in like the first scene. Shutters are shutted. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think. I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what up? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. I mean, I just dropped my guard. You see, need to do it too, right? Jess, you've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. You're just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. I am definitely ready to be handled. <laughs> Looks like they're having a good time. I think. I don't know, it's really hard to make out what I'm looking at. Oh, he's taking his clothes off. I guess this is one way to censor things. In Wendigo vision. That explains why she's wearing way less clothes in the, uh, in those totem scenes. These one- I went the wrong way, damn it. Uh... She's, yeah, she's wearing like just a top in those. I, I'm pretty sure she still had her jacket on in mine because things didn't go as well. Unfortunately for Mike, that's as far as things go. Because Nightmare Phone. It's your phone! What? How is it my phone? I don't know, it just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it! What? Those 
goddamn asshole's probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think I remember her in a white tub. <laughs> Bye, Jessica. See you later, girl. Do you really think the girls were communicating with us? I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Off to the library. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. <sighs> Damn it. Aren't you guys worried that, like, all the doors in this entire house are locked? That you're visiting? There's no lights. Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look! What? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. You know, if we skip the scenes with the saw blades, this would actually be a really clever way to get these two to get together. in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's around, Cam. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house? I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 you go. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Yeah, this would be a, this little haunted trick would be, re oh, there's a cockroach on the lens instead of a spider. Yep, that part happened. This would be a clever little way to get these two to get together. But instead, he had to do the whole thing where he makes his best friend choose who lives and who dies twice. This is the part where they make the clues mandatory. You have to see these characters. What? Whoa, is what this... What did you find? It's like, you have to see the sisters, and you have to see the tattoo, and you have to see the death and the threat. Because otherwise, the plot doesn't work. So they had to make this one clue mandatory. Holy cow. Uh, well, no, there's there's really not much in here. Did you look everywhere? Ah, are we really going to take orders from a spirit but board? But it said the library. Ash, there's nothing here. Let's just go find Josh, okay? Not much consequence from keeping this secret from her because it's not real. And so she probably won't even find out. Spooky dooky. Uh, the machinations of a sociopath. That was really bizarre. Yeah, you're telling me. Why would there be a whole secret room back there with the button and the moving wall if it was just empty? You think that's weird? Wait till he starts talking about ordering pizza. Is this one new? Thank you for your response. It's good to know that the tribe still feel an attachment to the land here. Even if we had had all the unfortunate problems, graffiti people sleeping in the outbuildings, this is their ancestral home, after all. I have made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to their elder council. Healing the wounds of the past won't be easy, but I feel it's a step that is necessary. This is new. This is all new. I saw that crazy guy again, Thursday 9... Looks like it was written by Josh's mom. 9.17 p.m. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. 
hanging around the generator again. I'm going to start keeping a record. Yeah, he keep... She's probably spotting the guy that's fighting the Wendigos. Interesting, yeah, I would missed that last time. Every, every corner has something in it, probably. It's hard to get collectibles in a game where you can at any moment can trigger the next scene and never get the chance to look again. What's down here? Oh, just a door I can't open. This place really is huge. This, now we're in the territory of rooms that I'll never I'm pretty sure I never see again. It's like they're just made for this one scene if you happen to turn left. So, um I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? Well, n no, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I, I mean, it, it's possible. Well, what? Okay, anything is possible. Just keep your eyes peeled, okay? If you see something, say something. I see oh. you. Where's Josh? Coming from the kitchen. Oh, Josh! Josh! Coming! Hold on! Ah! Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Bring it! All right. Ashley! I was trying to remember okay? exactly how we get kidnapped. Now I remember. Um, because Josh punches me in the face. Gonna... That's kind of uncool. Like, he full on clocks his best friend in the face. That's pretty awful. Live and learn. Live and learn. Well, good job with the library distraction. Oh wow, more clues. He's very specifically setting up the weird series of uh, balloons and arrows and lights so that uh, later on Sam will follow the correct path down to the, down to the other trap. It's actually really cool to play this again, knowing the twists, just to see the evidence in advance. Especially knowing who this guy is, finally. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. Well, Dr. H Dr. Hill, it's going to be very interesting for you to try to analyze my psychology when I say that the person I hate the most is me. So let's put Josh in the very bottom. Just going to do it all backwards this time. Or roughly that. Did I just pick all four? I think I just picked all four girls. <laughs> I just realized that. Uh, Matt over Josh. All well, my favorite characters going on the bottom of the hill this time. Mike over Chris. <laughs> he just keeps making weird faces all the time. Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? Oh, uh, full of surprises. I think I'm beginning to understand you far better now. Oh, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time. Don't be too hard on Joshua. He's been through, he's been through so much. But 
you know that already, don't you? <laughs> oh, the fucking subtext. Hey, clown mannequin. How you doing? You're definitely not a zombie like before. 